Hey, what is going on guys? It's Cheyenne Persinger and I just wanted to record a quick YouTube video to share a message with you that I haven't heard anyone else talk about before. Um, I have actually heard this, it's a really important message. I've heard it in a different way, but there was never a continuation on the message. So I'm just going to quickly start with like what I've heard from the past. And again, I'm recording this video because I do believe that whoever's watching is going to greatly benefit off of this information. So if you stick around to the end, I'm sure this is going to have a huge impact on you. Um, so just bear with me. So what I have heard from a man named Wesley Virgin, he was the first one who said this in a YouTube video. Uh, he said, Success is created based first on your thoughts. And obviously a lot of people say this, but he began the whole thing like this. It goes thoughts, feelings, actions, and then results. And I thought about this for a long time, and for a long time I stopped there myself. And I was like, okay, thoughts, feelings, actions, results. You know, you think a thought, and obviously, you know, and scientifically, if you do a lot of research on this, you'll realize that your thoughts do create chemicals that make you feel a certain way, right? So it does technically start with your thoughts and your thoughts make you feel something. And based on the way you feel, you will take certain actions. So if you think positively, if you're thinking, today can be an amazing day, I can do amazing things, I can be really fit today, I can go to the gym, I can do a great job at taking care of myself today, I can be really successful, my business will produce results today. You're thinking really positive, really positive thoughts and it's making you feel empowered. You're empowering yourself, you're feeling really good and really motivated based on the thoughts you're having that are creating good chemicals that are making you feel good. So based on your thoughts, you start to feel good and you take good actions. So you're like, okay, I believe I can do it. So then you go out there and you start doing things, right? And then based on what you're doing, you'll get a result. And before I, you know, before I actually go deeper into this, I want to say, you know, the flip side. So obviously you can think good thoughts and you can do bad things or I just said something really stupid. You can, do, you can think good thoughts and you can do good things, right? So it can be turned around the opposite way. You can wake up with really bad thoughts, you can feel bad, and then you can start doing bad things. So obviously that works both ways. So if you keep thinking negatively, you're gonna act negatively. Whereas if you keep thinking positively, you're gonna keep acting positively, okay? So that's common sense. But the reason why I wanted to record this is not for that basic information, but the continuation of that information. And I think this is really important because check this out. I've noticed this a lot in business and I've noticed this a lot with a lot of people that I work with, a lot of people that I know in business, and a lot of people, they have given up even though they, they think positively and even though they're working hard. Why do they give up even though they're thinking positively, they empower themselves and they're working hard, they're taking the right actions? And I think the reason for this is because there's a continuation after thoughts, feelings, actions, and then the results. There's a continuation because you might think positively and you might make yourself feel good. You might, um, like let's say uh, you wanna start a business and you start thinking like, I can do this. I can quit my job. I can make this happen. And then you start to feel good about yourself. You start having faith that you can do this. So you start a business, you, you make your initial investment and you start showing up every single day doing what you need to do to make it happen. And let's say you don't get the results you were expecting and you still have positive thoughts and you still work hard and you still feel good about it. You're like, I can still do this, I can still. But let's say four months pass and you're still getting the results you did not want. You're getting results that you didn't expect. You expected more, but you're not getting the results that you wanted. So this creates a habit. So the continuation goes like this. Thoughts, feelings, actions, results, habits, and then destiny. So if you continue to see the results you don't want to see, if you keep having a lack of results, you're going to get the habit of feeling dissatisfied. You're gonna create a habit of feeling like 
you you can't do it like you're disappointed you're gonna start feeling like well maybe I was wrong and you're gonna start doubting yourself so even though you keep thinking positively and you're trying to think positively you start to doubt yourself you start to get the habit of not believing it's actually gonna work so you tried really hard to take advantage of your thoughts you tried to make yourself feel positive and you took all the actions you needed to do and let's say you did this for a year straight and you still haven't gotten the results you were looking for this can create a bad habit of being disappointed and therefore this disappointment leads to you quitting and now your destiny is having been a failure you gave up you didn't want to finish you said it's just not working so I think this is really important because a lot of people like to think that you could just think positively, you can feel good, and you can take action, and you're going to get a result. And you're not always going to get the results you're looking for. You're not always going to get it as fast as you'd like. So I think the message is this. The message is that success is not a thought, feeling, or an action, but a continuation of actions over a very long extended period of time and that's what creates the result. The result does not come fast. Like, oh, I woke up today, I can make a million dollars. I think I can do it. I feel like I can do it. I just feel like today is the day. And you feel so good and you work really hard. You take action and action and action. And all day today, like let's say you worked 16 hours straight on your business, trying to close sales, trying to make money, and you didn't get the result and you're just disappointed. So my message is this. Success is not based on your thoughts, feelings, and actions. It's based on your thoughts, feelings, and actions over an extended amount of time. It's a continuation of positive actions, positive thoughts, and positive emotions. You have to keep believing in yourself and you have to keep taking actions that are going to propel you forward. And as said in business, business takes adaptability. So. You might not get results, but you have to adapt. You have to think positively like, okay, I didn't get the result I was looking for. What can I do to change, to make a better outcome? How can I change as a person to create a better result? And you have to think positively. You have to stay intact with your spirit and your mission and never give up on that, no matter how long it takes. And I'm saying this because Adrian and I, my boyfriend and I, as you know, we're in business. And we've had a lot of um, situations where we expected more, we expected a higher result, and we may not have always gotten to that result, but it's never disappointed us. Like, we still persevere through all situations in which we didn't expect. So that's the message. The message is that you will not become successful if you expect the result that you looked for immediately. Like Elon Musk, he had three huge, huge failures, like huge failures. A typical person with a failure the size of Elon's or you know Donald Trump, a failure the size of, of Elon Musk failure or a Donald Trump failure would have led a lot of us into completely giving up. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so in debt. I'm so overwhelmed. I have so many expenses. And most of us would have quit. So again, it's not just your thoughts. It's not just your feelings. And it's not just your actions. Because results depend on an extended period of time in which you've invested your thoughts, feelings, and actions into. So I hope this message registers with you guys and I hope you take this to heart because I don't think anyone deserves to give up their desires just because they tried to think positively and feel positively and do positive actions and they didn't get the result. You may not get the result, but that's no reason to quit. You have to keep going and you have to keep believing in yourself and you have to keep your mind tame. You have to be fully in the game like for a long time. You cannot just give up and it's it, giving up is not worth it and we all know that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope this was very beneficial to your day. Um, it's like it's like 6 a.m. over here I think in Arizona. About to upload this video and get back to work and... Yeah, I'm really excited for you guys. If you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And I also have something that I'd like to share with you as well. I'm about to be publishing my first book. And it's not going to be a business book, actually. It's going to be a poetry book. 
And it's going to consist of about um, like 90 to 100 poems that I've written uh, since like December. And, um, oh my bad. It's actually like going to be like spiritual, emotional, love, um, business, uh, goals. It has a lot of different kind of poems. And I just got so many of them that I'm going to share with you. I've been writing them for the longest. So, um, I would really like if you guys would um, definitely support this and if you guys would like me to read a poem on a YouTube video definitely comment below and I'll definitely do that for you guys if you want me to read like a love poem comment like read a love one or a emotional one or a business poem or uh, an intelligent poem a spiritual poem just let me know and I'll definitely do that for you guys so the book should be coming out um, hopefully this month but it's definitely coming out before my 21st birthday. So thank you so very, very much for watching this video. Hope you have an amazing day. I know I took up like 11 minutes of your time, and but I hope it was worth it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.